Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. And when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign on bonus for using that link. And today I'm going to teach you how to compete with cheap developers from India. <laughs> so I get this question and I get this question a lot about how to compete with cheap programmers and it's not meant to be offensive in any way it's just an honest question this is really something that you have to worry about if you're a developer especially if you're a freelancer today especially if you're using platforms like Upwork and, and whatnot. So this question is from Robert and Robert says hello I want to be a web developer and also a freelancer there are a lot of cheap web developers from India and other countries. What should I do different if I want to be better and also be hired? Should I know more languages, more frameworks? I also want to be better paid than them. What will make me different? So I definitely have a lot of opinion on this simply because I've been on both ends of this as a software developer, as a freelancer and especially now as someone who hires a lot of people off of Upwork, right? I, I spend a lot of time, I hire programmers off of there. I just hired a programmer off of there and, and you know, for, for fairly cheap and, and got a good job done on it. And I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I'll tell you what makes a difference. I'll tell you why you can compete with that guy from India that's charging $5 an hour to do PHP development and he knows 15 different frameworks and programming languages and there, there's it really seems hard to compete with him. The biggest thing that you can do, okay, bar none, is to communicate effectively, right? This is why this channel exists. Uh, if you if you want to read more about this, I mean, I'm, I'll talk about this briefly in the video. Definitely check out my book if you haven't already. Soft Skills: Software Developer's Life Manual. But but the key thing is, is communication skills and the ability to instill confidence in the person that's, that's going to hire you, right? So if I put out a rec on Upwork and I'm looking for a developer, I had, I had a job out for someone to convert my uh, uh, Photoshop. So I did a 99 designs design for a, a landing page for one of my, for my book, for actually for my new book. You can check that one out. Actually, it's called uh, the so Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, which actually should be out now by the time that you're watching this video. And, or, or maybe, yeah, it should be out by now. Uh, go check that out and you can check out the landing page and the trailer and everything there. But I had someone design that and then I had to hire someone on Upwork to convert the Photoshop to to HTML to the web, right? To and, and get it working in WordPress, right? So stuff that I could probably do, but this is the kind of stuff that I hire out now. Not not super programming work, right? Not not any in-depth technical thing. But the thing what I was looking for was not. I didn't go and look when I'm when I'm evaluating the people that apply for the job. I didn't go and look and say what kind of skills do they have. I didn't look and see how much years of experience of PHP or HTML or web development they had, I looked at a couple of things. I looked at their portfolio to see if they've done work that chal that's challenging, but before I even looked at that, I looked at how they responded and communicated to me because I made a pretty detailed job description saying what I wanted and some of the pitfalls and some of the, the concerns that I had and there were certain people that responded that addressed all of my concerns that said look man I understand they, they got me right they're like okay I see what you're trying to do here and you you want to make sure that this is done right you did this on 99 designs you want this to be pretty much pixel perfect you want to put this in a in a content builder so you can edit this okay this is how I can do this I'll make sure that I get this done for you and no problem don't worry I understand what you're talking about what your requirement is about being able to edit it because you're gonna need to be able to change it and you don't want to have to mark up the HTML we can put it into a, a page builder that you have on your site on your WordPress site right and described all the stuff and alleviated all my concerns and so those those people that that did that those were the people that I looked at strongly and I ended up hiring, right? Because, because they demonstrated more than the technical proficiency. Because I know 
that if someone communicates at that level, if they look at what needs to be done and they can tell me where there's going to be issues, if they can tell me how they're going to execute on that and, and re regurgitate to me my own concerns on the project and the things that I've described in there and and actually like take the requirements and and break that down and say okay this is what and even have some questions for me that means that they get it right I trust them I trust their competency because that's an expert level of competency and that's someone who's going to deliver on the work I'm not looking for the cheapest person in that case right whereas a lot of people responded to that job right and respond to a lot of jobs I put out for programmers or anything on Upwork and they say yes sir I can do it I'm your man right and in, in, in Upwork you can put questions and you can ask certain questions that they have to fill out and so I ask always these evaluation questions asking them about have you done this before or what do you think about this issue or you know and I ask some questions to filter people out and there will be there will be developers from India and from other countries that will just say yes sir I've done it or give me yes yes one word answers or say no worries no worries man I can handle it for you and that doesn't instill a lot of confidence, right? There's no way I'm ever hiring one of those guys unless they're like two bucks an hour and, I'm like, and I hire someone else and I just hire them just to see what they end up doing. But I have no trust and no confidence in them. So, so and, and the difference can be huge, right? Because one of these guys could be charging five, 10 bucks an hour and actually the guy that I end up hiring I think ended up charging 35 bucks an hour or 40 bucks an hour and I've hired people that are 100 bucks an hour on Upwork, why? because they communicate even though their competition even though there were people that had more skills listed on their profile or on their resume even though th that was the case and, and those people were charging twenty dollars an hour I might hire the hundred dollar person because I know that they are going to communicate because they understand the project because they, they've done that so in summary this is all this is what I'm saying is basically this if you want to compete with those guys don't try and compete with them on technical skill. That's silly. That's ridiculous. These guys can spend so much time improving their technical skills or putting all this stuff on their resume. And, you know, if you're in a third world country, right? I mean, some of you are, right? So if you are, you know, if you don't have a job and your only source of income is Upwork, and if making 10 bucks an hour is going to let you live pretty nicely, you can spend a whole bunch of time learning technologies and getting all this technical knowledge. But the application of that, the ability to communicate and actually execute on the project, that's what's more important and that's what I'm looking for and that's what a lot of people that want to work with you because it doesn't matter, right? I mean, there's tons of people that have the technical skills, but if I have to spend my time, if I have to spend two extra days communicating with you because you misunderstood it wrong or giving you explicit instructions because you don't get it, that's more expensive. I'd rather pay someone twice, three times what you're charging and have it done right and trust them and not have to meddle in it as much, right? And that's how most entrepreneurs, that's how most businesses think. So, so that's what you gotta think about. Don't think about competing on the technical level. Have the technical competency, but when it comes down to applying for a job or soliciting prospects for the work that you're gonna do, make it very clear. Here's, I'll give you some real simple explanation. One, make it as clear as possible that you understand what they're trying to do, regurgitate it back to them, paraphrase it, and make it very clear that you understand what they want. That's the one, that's the biggest thing that's going to help you more than anything else. As soon as you read someone who, who does that, who responds to a job, you, you get this sigh, like, oh, he gets it, okay? You, you have that confidence. Number two, communicate what the, the expert level stuff, what the problems you have, questions you have, you know, how you plan on doing things, implementation details that show that you're, you're not just bullshitting. You're not just saying, oh yeah, I can do this job. I can do anything. You actually have thought about it and, and, and have communicated that. Those are going to be the biggest things uh, that, that are going to make the, the biggest difference. And that's why I dedicate this channel. That's why I dedicate what I do at Simple Programmer to helping developers in, in other areas of their life, especially in soft skills, because that is so, so important, especially as, as more and more development jobs become commoditized, this is going to become more and more important. So pay attention here and make sure that you do that if you want to be able to compete in this global marketplace. And for you guys also that are in third world countries, if you're in India, if you're in places like this and you're on Upwork and you're just responding with yes sir to job you're ridiculous. Stop wasting your time responding to every single job application that comes out there and start responding to a few of them with very detailed responses like I just gave the advice here and you're, you're going you're gonna to kill it. You're going to kill it on Upwork, I promise you. All right. 
That's all I got for you this time. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell if you don't want to miss any videos. Talk to you next time. Later.